try to forget. Narrated by Scott from Exuberant Knack. It is recommended that you read the story while you listen to it with headphones. Thank you and enjoy. Have you ever tried to remember something, and no matter how hard you try, it's just no use? If I were you, I would stop trying. There is a reason for this. It is for your own safety. About a decade ago, there was an experiment. It started out small, a few scientist friends working together to try to unravel the mysteries of the human brain. One thing that struck them was memory. Why was it that some things were easier to remember? Why are some memories locked away so tight that you can't remember no matter how hard you try? Well, after months of painstaking research, they found some answers. Their studies, fortunately, never made it to the public. They discovered a way to completely remove memories from someone's mind. The idea was that if you removed all the excess memories, you could get to the memory you wanted to remember, since no other memories were interfering. The removed memories were stored as data to be reinstated into your mind afterwards. After months of preparation, finding a willing volunteer, and perfecting the operations, an experiment was ready to be performed. The volunteer was a man, but I could gain no other information. A date was set, an event which the man remembered occurring but could not bring to surface. Strapping him into the complex machinery, they removed all of his memories except for that date. Everything was fine up to that point. He came back silent at first, looking around confused. He seemed normal enough, if a little lost. After about 15 minutes he began screaming. He tossed over the machine beside him, startling the scientists. He began screaming, I remember them. I remember. He fell to his knees, clawing at his face until he began to bleed, still shouting incomprehensibly. Eventually the scientists got in and sedated him. They put him back and attempted to understand what had happened. Perhaps they had damaged his brain? They looked at his brainwave sequence to determine whether this was true. What they saw next really took them by surprise. Nothing. His brainwaves were dead. Absolutely no activity whatsoever. Yet, the man was still breathing heavily and murmuring in his sleep. They checked his heart rate. Nothing. They went over with a stethoscope. No beat. None. They checked the machinery but could not find a single flaw. A little freaked out, they decided to retire for the day and come back tomorrow. They left the cameras on, recording every movement in the laboratory. In a journal found in the abandoned laboratory days later, one of the scientists had written that night. I cannot sleep. I don't know why, exactly, but I have a feeling of immense disturbance. Perhaps it was today's events? Something about the way that man screamed was more than insanity, more than delirium brought on by drugs or anything. It was real, genuine fear of the deepest and most instinctive kind. Something is wrong, something is deeply wrong with what has happened, but what it is I believe is one of those things most likely left unconceived. The next day the scientists returned to see how the man was doing. He was gone. He vanished, nowhere to be seen. The scientists checked the cameras, but after footage of the man sleeping for about three hours it went static. Ruining and slowing it down, they could see a faint stir in the man. A shadow seemed to flicker across the wall right before the static ensued. They decided to open the chamber and investigate the room. Upon entry, many of the doctors fainted immediately. A few threw up and collapsed on the ground in a fever. The others simply stood, unable to comprehend what was in front of them. Blood. Loads of blood covered nearly every surface in the entire room and almost a foot deep from the ground. It was far more blood than can be contained in one or even a dozen human bodies. The sickening smell of decaying flesh floated out of the room, making the scientists sick. 
Here and there floated chunks of meat, organs, an eyeball. The only part of the room left blank was a small patch of the far wall, where the blood left a blank spot forming the words do not remember. Try to forget. Immediately the project was shut down. The blood and gore was drained out through drains in the floor. The scientists sold the area and left. They changed names or left the country, doing anything to never be found again. Many were found to have committed suicide weeks after the event. About a week after they had left and abandoned the facility, a body was found. During construction of a new building in the area, the cement in the parking lot was pulled up. The body was found, emaciated and unrecognizable, beneath. Strangely enough, the head was severed from the body. It was found buried near a tree not far off, completely unharmed. To this day no one knows what occurred, and many refuse to believe anything occurred at all. All that is known is that for whatever reason, those thoughts that cannot be remembered are blocked out in order to protect us. From what? And why, I believe, is better left unknown.